the gay community. Right. It's not not necessarily a liberal community. Right. It doesn't have to be. Right. Right. There are. Uh, you're a member of a a, a, a group of uh, Republicans. Right. But what what has what have your lifelong friends uh, done on social media to uh, preserve or affect your friendship? Well, I, not even on social media, but in real life. I mean, my biggest issue is I have friends that are completely across from the ideological spectrum from where I am. But my biggest problem that I've seen is like, yeah, we disagree, but we're still friends and we can have a reasonable conversation. The biggest problem I've seen with my friends on the left is that people that I thought were somewhat intelligent, we just disagreed ideologically. Right. They've gone crazy. I can't even look at Facebook anymore. They have so just degraded it. Like, it, like I can't. I've I've stopped looking at Facebook now because just the ranting and raving and just the craziness that I see, I can't even look at it anymore. These are people that are my lifelong friends that we disagree with ideologically. We agreed until they lost, and then all of a sudden, it's like. The, the craziness I see, I'm like, I, I can't even understand how I'm friends with you anymore. Your candidate lost, I don't understand. You have like two or four years to fix this. Like, go work out. Like, we, like when we lost in 2012, we went out and started canvassing and, and started doing some stuff. You know, I, I, I can't understand. And I don't know why they take it so personally. That's this, the US, you know, political system. You win or you lose. If you want to participate, you can win or you can lose. But just the, the amount of just tantrums I'm hearing and, the, and uh -huh. just the ins insanity. The insanity I'm hearing from my lifelong friends who were on the, the opposite side of the political spectrum that we had been great friends for and just the meltdowns I see they put paste on Facebook. They don't say it in real life, but they paste it on Facebook like it's a thing. I'm like, I, I can't. I, I can't look at it anymore. I'm like... I get whatever, and uh, I used to I used to appreciate people even if they disagreed with me that they were in the political process. Right. But after seeing all this, I'm like I can't anymore. I'm like I shut down Facebook. I turn off the TV. I'm not listening to anything anymore because I know exactly where it's going. Uh, are you in a position where you would have to hide your uh, political views professionally out of a concern for ostracism? Actually, I don't have to. That's one of the better things. How is that? I work for a company that has a news talk conservative station, so... Oh. Huh. So you work among a, a, a fellow Republicans? Yes. Uh-huh. But have, have you heard of other people who've been discriminated against? Because absolutely. Of, really? Absol oh, Professionally absolutely. discriminated? Yeah, mo yeah, most of my friends keep their mouths shut that I know that are on the right side of the spectrum. Because it will, it will affect their career. It doesn't sound very liberal. No, not at all. And that's the sad, actually, that's the saddest thing. The saddest thing is that I don't dismiss somebody because they disagree with, with me politically, sure. but a lot of my friends would, and a lot of the companies would, and I don't understand it. What's going on? That's the question you have to ask. And is that a subject that you think the, the mainstream press is trying to avoid recognizing, acknowledging? Absolu absolutely. Yeah. But we. But the thing is, the mainstream press doesn't understand how irrelevant they are now. Because we've all, all of us, we've tuned it out. That's why they didn't get this last election. We tuned it out. We and they they still don't get it. They still think all that everything that's going on is like a big. We're like, no, we've tuned it out. We're done. We don't listen anymore, we don't believe you, we don't care. So you're not convincing us, you're just playing to your to the base. So good, everybody can get fever pitch about Russia or whatever, they can have fever, like, fever dreams about Russia. Nobody cares, nobody cares. On my side, we're done. We've tuned you out, you're done. You, you've totally, and this is so sad because I used to work in the news media and I miss it because I really enjoyed that when it became the point of just like, now I have no desire to do it. And I still have friends that work there and we talk about this. I still have some friends that are embedded in that and we laugh about it. We joke about it when we're out having drinks or having dinner. We know. But it's sad. It is sad. What are you gonna do? 
There's social media now. We get around the whole mainstream media. You don't have to worry about it. Why am I here? Why am I out here talking to you with your cell phone, and I'm not talking to the mainstream media with their big cameras? When they ought to be covering. Group. If it were a, a, another topic of discrimination, if it were anti-gay discrimination, they'd be all over here. They don't care about anti-gay discrimination. They support Muslims that throw gays off buildings. Oh, the mainstream media. Because they're liberal. Do they understand that? Do they understand that? My favorite thing recently was with Chechnya. And they're like getting all worried about Chechnya. And I'm like, how long have the Muslims been throwing gays off buildings that you don't care about? But there are even gays who are working in the media who ought to be caring about this, this kind of an issue. But they must be caught, right? They're caught up. In that, in the leftism, that they can't say anything about it, or, or we come back at them for the as criticism of there Islamophobia. There are some. I don't know about the mass, vast majority, or it might be groupthink. It's hard to say. But I can say that recently we've had a lot more people come and say, "Hey, I'm not, in, I'm not on board with that. I don't like gays being thrown off buildings." You know, I've had an epiphany, but they can't say it out loud. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Is that all you need? Uh, and <laughs> or do you need some? Do you need some B-roll? I can do some B-roll. Uh, and it's, is it okay to put this online? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Both pieces. Both pieces. Are, are, are going well, on. I mean, how much you're going to put on there? You're going to. You're not going to make me look bad, are you? <laughs>